if you are struggling to import your footage and video files into DaVinci Resolve on Linux, you should keep watching this video where I will show you how to get formats that work on DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve Studio. First, I will show you how to configure OBS if you don't really want to convert any files, but you would rather have video that works out of the box on DaVinci Resolve. Then, if that doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you how to install a tool which is called FFmpeg and also how to create and use very simple scripts that will batch convert any of your videos or audio files to be ready to work on DaVinci Resolve without any issues. The easiest option, if you don't want to do any conversion using any scripts whatsoever, is to just record your footage on OBS with supported formats using a certain audio and video format, which you can change using the standard option or custom input. So let me just show you. So here in OBS, you can go to file settings and then you would go to output streaming if you are streaming or recording and then on recording here you will have multiple options you can see right now that this is grayed out so what i did was essentially use the standard type and then select a recording format in this case is mkv but you could select move and instead of fmpeg aac you would select pcm 16. Or another way to do it is to change the type to custom output FFmpeg and then set the container format to move and set the video encoder to MPEG4 and then set the audio encoder to PCM 16 bit. So PCM S 16 LE. If you want to use any of the scripts on this video, then you will need to install a package called FFmpeg, whether that's for Debian, Fedora or Arch-based distros, you have here the commands and as you can see right here in the terminal, I already have FFmpeg installed. In Linux, you will face two different situations and that's whether or not you have DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve Studio installed. DaVinci Resolve Studio will be compatible with the video formats but not the audio. So if you are using MKV and AAC audio, you only need to encode the audio. So you can create the MKV to wave SH file or script, or you can click here to download it. So if you click here, this will open up the code and then you can go here and click on download the raw file, or you can just copy paste all of it by just clicking here on copy raw file. If you are using MP4 footage and AAC audio, you just need to create the MP4 to wave shell script. You can download it on the link here or you can just copy the code here. What I like to do is to put these scripts in a folder, for example, videos slash encoding, and then with all these scripts there, copy paste the videos that I want to convert to that folder. And then I just execute the script that I want to use inside that folder. So let me just show you what this does. So here it says that it is a bash script. And then here you have loop through all MKV files. And then if they have the MKV file extension, remove the MKV extension from the file name and convert using FFmpeg. So this is converting the audio on your MKV video file to PCM. And then at the end, you will have a file with the wave extension, very similar to the MP4 to wave. So instead of using MKV, we are using MP4 and this will again convert the audio, which will be super fast and very convenient. And this will work well if you have DaVinci Resolve Studio. So let me show you how this works. Here I have the encoding folder inside videos and here I have a MKV sample. I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio, so I just need to convert this audio. So here we have MKV to wave.sh, so this is the script. So I just need to click here, open a terminal here, and then I can go and type in MKV to wave and it's already there. So I just hit enter and it's already finished. I have here a PCM or a file name with the wave extension, which will work out of the box with DaVinci Resolve Studio. So as you can see right here, I have the sample MKV file. So if I just put this here, 
and then go to the timeline and then try to use that file. What will happen is that you have here the MKV file without any audio, but we have already fixed this problem. So if we go into media and then here I have the sample wave, which is the audio file for that video. I just need to drop that in here and then go to edit the video. And now we have a working audio file, which is the exact same length as the video. Now, if you have DaVinci Resolve, the free version, then one of the easiest ways to get the import working is to just use ProRes Move and the PCM audio format. So you can create the MP4 to Move SH or you can copy paste it into your favorite editor and then save it as an SH file, which I do have in the videos slash encoding folder. Then again, you execute the script. In this case, it is called mp4 to move.sh. So you can execute that by copy pasting this right here. So this will loop through all the mp4 files, which are on that encoding folder. Then it will extract the file name without the extension, which we then have here mp4. And then it will convert the mp4 to ProRes move with software encoding for ProRes. So this means that you won't be using your GPU. However, this won't take long to convert. If that's the case, then I would recommend you to try and get settings for the OBS that produce video that's compatible with DaVinci Resolve free version. So now here I have a sample.mp4 file and now I want to convert it to move because Resolve free doesn't support it. I just open a terminal here and then go and type mp4 to move and then hit it and it will convert the mp4 file to a prores.move file. And as you can see, each one of the conversion scripts will follow the same exact name of the original file, followed by the container or the video file format and making it so it is easy to identify the format. After a bit, it will just convert the video and then you have here the video ready to be used on your project. So if you have multiple files with the same format, you can just execute one of these scripts with all of the footage here and it will convert everything. You need to make sure that those scripts have this option enabled, executable as a program. Now that we've covered the OBS setup and the scripts to convert your footage, you can go ahead and try the steps and see if it works out for you. If you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you found this video helpful, you can give it a like and subscribe for more. If you want to take a look at the scripts or follow along, you can check the link down in the description, which will lead you to GitHub where you can easily copy paste those scripts or you can download them, place it on your folder and use them right away. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.